Hey folks, it's Ben from Smoking Hot Confessions here. It's now the end of the competition on Sunday afternoon. We've had a ripper of a weekend here in Foster at Q for a Cause. We've been raising money for the Great Lakes Women's Shelter. And I've got now with me Linda from Pits Perfect. She's been cooking here all weekend and she's gonna give us a walkthrough of her fantastic looking uh, trailer smoker here. So Linda, how's the competition been, been treating you? Yeah, good, I think we did pretty good. Um, a few hiccups along the way, but yeah, not too bad, so. See what the judges think. <laughs> oh, can you tell us what happened? Oh, just the brisket. I had a feeling it wasn't quite done for some reason, and about half an hour earlier I took it out, it definitely wasn't done. So we sliced it up, put it back in its own juices, and by the time the time was up, it was done. So I'm glad I checked it, or we would have had surfboard brisket to hand in. So. Oh, yeah, no, you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that at all. Yeah. So now you've actually brought your whole family here today, haven't yep. you? Yep, certainly have. And um, Chloe actually um, was in a competition yesterday and reserve grand champion. <laughs> which we've never done. So in her first competition, she beat us. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so there's a new yeah. superstar in the that's family. That's exactly right. So the only way we can beat her this weekend is if we win, and that's probably not going to happen. So yeah. I think she's going to take the honours this weekend. So Yeah, no, good honour, good honour. Yeah, I agree. All right, so one of the things that I wanted to talk about was yep. your beautiful-looking offset trailer mm -hmm. smoker here. Yep. Can you give us a bit of a rundown on, on what it is and how it works? Yeah, well, this is a reverse flow. Um, so instead of your regular one where you've got your chimney on the opposite side of your firebox, we've got the chimney on the same side as the firebox. So the smoke will come up under, a, I don't know all the technical terms, but a big plate that sits there. It comes around through and up, out through the chimney. So this section here is actually the hottest bit of the um, offset, which is why I love it, because if I need something cooked quickly, I put it up there. Um, I know you can do similar with the plates in a, a regular offset, but this is just, once I've known, now I know this barbecue, it makes it really easy to get put things where you need them done so yeah to get them done quickly or slowly so that's yeah beautiful and yeah. where does the offset part of it come from i have no idea <laughs> is it is it because the firebox is offset from the cooking that's chamber you know more than i do <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't know the technicalities that makes sense and i've only had three hours sleep so simpler questions please okay all right all right so what color is it it's black i think there we go okay good 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what so what kind of meats is this particular smoker suited to? Um, it loves brisket. Like, we can fit... Had I have known we were going to do catering and stuff, I would have got a 30-inch. This is only a 24-inch. That would have got us an extra shelf in there. But this can still fit about four briskets on each shelf, and she just smashes through the brisket. So things like ribs and stuff are sometimes better suited to the Weber because they need a, a bit more straight-up heat. But the slow cooking of the brisket, old pulled pork and lamb as well, all those slow meats... They love getting cooked in this. It makes it easy. I don't have to do much at all. So, it oh. makes my life easier. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I love the sound of all that brisket. Yeah. Yeah. So the last question then is, yeah. what what sort of fuel do you run it on? Uh, we use iron bark, um, and we also use the only other fruit wood I use now is cherry wood. So um, the iron bark goes straight on the fire. The cherry wood I'll put in front of it, so it's not sitting on the fire. So the heat. The ambient heat will hit the wood and it'll just smoke. Sometimes it catches fire, but that's not what I want it to do. But that's what I use and that's what seems to work really good in this. So, yeah. Well, I, I love all that and thank you for sharing that information with us. And uh, best of luck at Trophy thank Time you. coming up soon. Thank you. <laughs>